my <clears throat> first train doesn't leave for another 18 hours. So I'm gonna chill here for <clears throat> a few before I head off to see my first mountain. Yeah. Fast forward 12 hours, and now just leaving the airport, um, heading to the metro station. I got about an hour and 50 minutes left. This is brutal. <laughs> this is very brutal. A six hour slow train ride to my next location and then immediately going to the hotel, dropping off my stuff, climbing a mountain, then coming back, sleeping, and then moving on to the next location. Um, I've made it to Da Tong. I think that's how you say it. Da Tong. Da Tong. Yeah. Da Tong. Yeah. I think that's how you say it. If not, sorry for butchering it. Anyway, um, I'm in my hotel room now. I didn't film in the uh, in the train. All you needed to know was really hot and uncomfortable. Just miserable. Seven hours. Now I'm gonna get cleaned up and then try to figure out how to get to this mountain, climb it, get back here, get. I can get back here get some rest because I got to be up at like five o'clock to get back to the um, the train station and leave here and go back to where I came from in Beijing at seven o'clock in the morning. Ugh. We're here, first mountain and um, Currently at this uh, temple, yeah, the, the whole temple is kind of straddling the side of the mountain. It's called, I believe, the Floating Temple, and uh, it's pretty freaking raw, just saying. Disappeared and can I find her? We have two hours before the park closes. Hopefully, she comes back soon. And finally, after a bunch of pointless bickering and arguing, climbing up. I have a very short amount of time to do this. I'm about 15 minutes in, I'm exhausted. I actually seem like I'm pretty close to the top. But then again, the uh, starting point. It's pretty far into the uh, the mountain. Hey. Alright, I'm 30 minutes in. I'll, I'll give you a quick pano 360, whatever. To give you an idea where I'm at. There we go. That's how high up I am. And then this is the finish line. I'm not that far away. And I think these are the stairs I have to climb. Let's do it. Mm. Check out how steep these are. It's getting real. Oh yeah, feel the burn. Feel the burn. I believe this is the end of the road because of that uh, construction area. That road over right right there, I believe that's a, wait, like that. You 
can't get to it. And I believe that takes you up to the peak up there. This little grotto thing here is the top. I just seriously can't get over this view. Look how beautiful that is. <sighs> I wish I had more time here. But I literally have to go as quickly as I can down this mountain. But man, I could just sit here and just take that in all day. Seriously, it's so beautiful. Good job, China. <laughs> So, heading down, I saw this trail. As I went up further, I followed it. Like I said, I wouldn't. And uh, yeah, this one's going towards the top. It just doesn't end. As he's going and going and going. My back hurts. It's hard to breathe right now because of the altitude I'm not quite used to. Holy crap. <sighs> I'm so glad I did this. It was worth the extra 10 minutes. That was brutal though, that last little leg of climb to go. Now, I, I retract my last statement. I could sit up here and just look at the expanse of everything. And just to think that however many years ago when time began and all of this came into existence, that it was created with me in mind knowing that in the year 2018 AD, <laughs> that Andrew Mislinski be standing on this mountain, taking in such an amazing, beautiful piece of scenery. Oh, gosh, I don't wanna leave, but I have to. I gotta go, can get back in the cab, take an hour ride back to the hotel, eat, I'm grabbing a massage, and I'm going to bed. But man, what I, what I wouldn't do to be able to like just camp out, I camp out up here for a night. Man, all right. We're just gonna skip to the part where I'm at dinner or something. All right. All right, just got to the restaurant. I'm severely underdressed for this place, but oh well, no one's gonna remember. A little frustrated. My, uh, my taxi driver invited her sister to come with us. And so on the way back, like, I'm your client, so you should be trying to get me back. I'm paying you, you know? They just stop and just like chill and talk to people on the street while they pick up fruit. So then like, you know, I'm tired and you just climbed a mountain. I'm hungry, frustrated. And then this chick just totally offs this big dog in the middle of the street. It was big enough to you know, get the and then the It kind of freaked me out a little bit. Story's over.